Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. This is VitaFuser. In our last episode, we had a big summoning video where I summoned our last Personas. I've got every one of them ranked up to rank 8, and I have a few of them with mutated skills. Turns out, when I made one of them, I ended up throwing my uh, one of my strategies for the last boss out the window, because I need... Uh, my Araquadine for one of the skills for the last boss, and, uh, heh, I didn't have a Maraquadine card, because it's really hard to find. So, I'm gonna have to be doing a different strategy. It's probably gonna make it take a little longer. On the plus side, I do have three shots of Hieroglyphane, which is a guaranteed 600 points of damage. Anyway, on that note... I'm all prepped up, and we can go back into the Monado Mandala. I will be estomaing my way through this, so you will not be seeing any random encounters until the last few parts. Alrighty. It's go time. Estoma... Now, if I know what I'm doing... I said if I know what I'm doing... Okay, so this is Alaya. We have to go into the Room of Knowledge. Nope. It's the Room of Reason. That's where we're going. That's Instinct. Alright, Reason. Thankfully, the Room of Reason is very, very short. Is all we really have to do. Is go up here. Into the room of instinct. Let's see. You go up, you can go into a room with a trap. Don't go into the room with a trap. The fifth door down there goes to a dead end. So we go up here instead. No, that goes to a dead end too. Down there is a tre is a uh, treasure chest with antidotes. You probably should uh, ignore those because we won't really have anything to do with poison that much. I say this and. Uh, <laughs> Ouroboros uses Poison Breath a lot. Alrighty, six. Up here. This should be a trapped chest. Nope, it's just a Soma. This will be useful for uh, our final boss. See, we have our seventh doorway up here. Let's see. So that doorway goes up to an empty chest. That doorway goes up to a diorama card, and I believe that one is trapped. But we're not making any more personas, so we don't really need it. And anyway, we have diorama. Time to uh, put the stoma back on. I said put the stoma back on. And up here, we're going to have our second shadow encounter.
So you see, he was thinking he was all hot shit when in fact... Hey, Maya! You listening? The deja vu boy again? Yep. You're so lucky, compared to me. Why do I have such bad luck with men? It's always been like that. You were always getting attention. Why do I have to be the ugly skank? I'm ten times prettier than you. I'm also athletic, fashionable, and a great homemaker. I'm even a good dancer to boot. <sighs> What's wrong with me? So I might ha have all the curves. I've been working my ass off at a boring job. It's probably the, that. I'm not satisfied with myself. I don't have my place in this world. Seriously, I'm so jealous of you. Hello? I've been ripping into you for the past five minutes, and all you can do is sleep? Sometimes I wonder why I even bother. Well, you do work late every day. Let's go home, Maya. Here, grab your purse. All right, we have an inferiority complex here. That is so pathetic. Drunkenness, complaining, jealousy. Appeal rating, zero. You're not qualified to be a woman. No one would even look at a woman like you. Looking after that girl is just to hide your inferiority complex. Ugh, you don't have to rub it in. However, even the fool is starting to realize it. In her own foolish way, huh? What are ya, Francisca von Karma? A foolishly foolish fool? You should know. You're her best friend. Whether she found herself or not. You tell her instead. I'm gonna already tell you that the second answer is only gonna feed into her inferiority complex. It's also going to make the next boss fight a little harder. So really, it's just... It's not up for us to answer for Rulala. Thanks, Maya. I was wrong to try and find myself. You have to make yourself. I'm nowhere to be found. It's me who decides what's going to happen. How boring. That puts a damper on my day. Still, what is their objective? Why are they not attacking? Why are they beating around the bush? You don't find yourself. You make yourself. Huh. That's not bad. Especially not from a Lala. Especially from a Lala. There's only one thing good about all this. I met all of you. I'll thank fate for that. These are his old tricks. Showing us our shadows. Don't fall for it. You'll be swallowed by the shadows. Alrighty. Let's see. With this, we have two doors right here. Door 10 goes to the crystal that leads to the rest area. Door 11 goes onward. Touch the crystal, you will unlock the door.
and we'll be able to go to the rest area near where Aliyah is. There's one of these in every single world. As you can see, here's a door to Instinct, that's the door to Reason, we're good to go. And we are going to the world of Instinct now. Or rather, we are still in Instinct. This is the door to Judgment. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Nature called and I had to answer. So we are in the world of Judgment. This is the world around the rest area. Ow. <laughs> Of course it wouldn't be that simple. Yeah. Alright. We have trap doors now. My estoma ran out. This is the path you want to go if you want to avoid any traps. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Now, we will actually be passing by the door of the rest area very, very soon. However, we can't get there because we need to tap the crystal to do that. And we can't do that until we've taken care of the boss. Which is right up here. Do you feel it? Yeah, our imposter's right. We have to settle this ourselves. Before I do this, I'm going to switch Katsia's persona. Katsia is going to get Hyperion again. Otherwise, everybody else is getting their other personas. They're staying as they are. I'm also going to save, because you never know how bad this boss fight will go, because it's a Shin Megami Tensei game. Whoever said you're not supposed to save in the middle of a Let's Play has not played a Shin Megami Tensei game. Anything can go bad at, at any time. And I don't want to redo everything. Alrighty, here we go. Ekichi! He's still out cold. Isn't that nice? He's still asleep. Put him down. Shadow Katsia and Shadow Ulala. Resentment and inferiority. We won't really be doing a lot of reverse arcana analysis until Persona 3 and Persona 4. But let's just say... Shadow, I Shadow uh, Katsia is of the reverse Justice Arcana. And Shadow Ulala is of the reverse Star Arcana. And while Katia's um, shadow doesn't really have much to do with 
the reverse Justice Arcana, which is uh, extreme bias and extreme uh, turning into a judge. Judge, jury, and executioner. Ulala's shadow definitely folds into reverse star symbolism, which is to say, depression and inferiority. Now then, on that note, Shadow Katsuya and Shadow Ulala will have a different level depending on which choices you make in the fight. Since I check checked the correct answers, they are both level 62 and 61, respectively. Katsuya has about 4,000 hit points. Ulala has about 4,000 hit points. Katsuya is weak to water and ice, and Ulala is weak to earth spells. Katsuya knows Heat Kaiser, Shadow Force, Triple Down, and Vice Shot. Ulala knows Alluring Mazurka, Dark Nebula, and Magarodyne. You're going to want to take out Ulala first, because she can charm everybody. Now, Vice Shot is dangerous. It is basically the dark version of Katsuya's Justice Shot. Unlike Justice Shot, which leaves whoever it is you're shooting with one hit point, Vice Shot is a one-hit kill. No joke. The trick to this fight is you don't want to do massive damage fusions. You want to do single attacks to do more damage. Alrighty, so Maya will use Hieroglyphane. Hieroglyphane. Oh, that Hieroglyphane hits both of them. Oh, okay. You're going to do Baptism by Thunder. Get you down last. Ulala is going to do Divine Judgment. That does both of them, too. Falfu, you are going to do, uh, Wiseman Snap. And Katsuya is going to do Triple Down. Wiseman Snap. Instead, we are going to put in Midiorama. stupid. Alright, we are a quarter of the way down. Ah. 
item, get ourselves an incense of life up. Katsia, you're going back to using uh, Baptism by Thunder. Hieroglyphane, nice. Alright, you're down to half health. Heat Geyser. That does nothing to two of our, per our uh, people. Gardine. That doesn't do a lot. You have thankfully not been doing um, Alluring Mazurka. Thank you. that healing. Oh, I spoke too soon. And it didn't work. This should be the last of uh, Shadow Ulala. You're done. And you're down at hit point. Oh, vice shot. Ah! Uh Thankfully it's not that much of a uh not that much of an issue. I have 61 of these. You back to using uh, triple down. Let's see. This. I wonder if this will finish you off. Nope. You're being stupid. There you go. Nice. Very, very nice. We are now level 69. No jokes, please. get some vitality up here because we need all the health we need for these last bits. Especially that final boss. <laughs> Although Katsia is still level 72, which could be a bit of a problem. Kichi. He's not awake. For the time being, we're safe. But are you sure about this, Katsia? Leaving him without any memories of you. He's your friend, right? It's... okay. Philemon. I will return him to the real world. I'm sorry, but taking him with you is exactly what he wants. It's hard. But move on. I will protect this side, and everyone's memories. 
Miss Amato, he said anger is the shadow's source of power, didn't he? I'm sorry, but I don't think I can hold myself back. I don't care how much I'm despised, but I cannot sit here and watch everybody suffer. Amano, our little group here is a bunch of barbarians. You better be prepared. I didn't say that much. I've never been so angry for someone else in all my life. What did Tatsia do to deserve this? We're gonna find out! We're gonna find out in a few episodes, but for now, I'm cutting it here. And I will see you guys next time. Later!